Um, my advice would be that the characteristics of a good board is that people bring different things. Uh, so someone's been asking me at this conference, oh, I, I'm not, I shouldn't be joining the board because I only practice two days a week and it's someone who works in another organisation. And well, having a good board means having people working in the NHS, people who work in academia, people who work in third sector organisations who are practising midwives, uh, who can bring those different perspectives and points of view to the board. So my first piece of advice would be don't think that you wouldn't be able to offer and have something to give. Uh, my second piece of advice is that you do need the support of your employer because uh, you do need it does, it does you do need time to come to board meetings to come to events like this which is a, a great joy uh, but you do need your employer's support and I don't think that's hard to do my, my employer uh, was is very keen for its senior academic staff to engage um, with professional organizations and with policy uh, policy people so so those are the two things make sure you have enough time and don't doubt that you have something to offer and also if you're quite junior you don't need to be old and ancient and, and, ha and have lots of experience because I think that's also important to have that range of, of experience in the profession as well.